know, Black History Month is Black History Month because of celebrating the birth of both Abraham Lincoln um, and Frederick Douglass. We don't know exactly when Frederick Douglass was born, but we estimate that he was born um, February 20th, 1818, and he was an escaped slave who became an abolitionist and someone who really advocated for um, the discontinuation of slavery and just educating folks about what slavery was. It's an opportunity for us to remember to incorporate um, inclusivity every day of the year mm -hmm. and look for ways that we can be inclusive um, in our own lives, you know, making mm -hmm. a friend that you wouldn't normally think about talking to. Maybe this is the person you should speak to um, just because they're different from you. That might be a good way for you to Yeah, learn. so the, the poem that I wrote um, is actually called <laughs> A Brand New Funk, A New Perspective on Black History. all the struggles and all the pain there's no need to look back to know what we've gained we can see it in our children's eyes we can feel it in our family ties now i'm not saying let's forget about the past and i'm not saying we done moved on up at last but what i am saying is our history is now today what i am saying is that we create it in what we do and what we say doctor, lawyer, leader, teacher, inventor, athlete, president, preacher, black his story, black her story, black our story is a celebration of our triumph over sorrows. It is our present, our future, and our beautiful tomorrows. the initial audience was for young people um, to be able to digest what the message was, for to feel uplifted by the message. And so the intended audience was really more like um, elementary to middle school students, um, as I thought about kind of who I would want to, to hear the message. And so um, I do know though that it's something that maybe we can all connect too. Um, and then um, I don't know if you noticed the quote behind me from mm -hmm. um, John Lewis, and we, we lost him this year, civil rights leader and um, a very, very important politician that we had. And I think people, when they see, like they might see a face mask and it'll say good trouble, and mm -hmm. maybe folks don't understand where that comes from, but it really comes from, you know, John Lewis's um, remark to us. And, you know, when he said, never, ever be afraid to make some noise into good trouble, necessary trouble. And yeah. what that means is sometimes the status quo does have to be disrupted. It was college students like you who mm -hmm. went down in the South and sat at lunch counters. And you would think, well, what's the importance of sitting at a lunch counter? What well, was against the law to integrate at a lunch counter? And so not only would you be arrested, but oftentimes you were beaten, you were um, spat on, you were just abused for simply sitting down at a counter and it was the student nonviolent um action committee who you know got together and they were students of all different um ethnic groups there were jewish students there were african-americans there were students from all backgrounds who said you know what this law doesn't make sense mm -hmm. it is unjust and we are going to nonviolently protest and one of the ways they protested was they got into necessary trouble um, mm -hmm. and, and so at some of them, you know, at their own personal peril. And so just really, I guess the third point I want to make, make is, um, you know, even as college students, you have voices and, you know, while it's important to remember the past, it's also important to celebrate what, where we are right now mm -hmm. and acknowledge that we have more work to do. So we can um, definitely have reverence for the past, uh, celebrate, our current triumphs, but also acknowledge what needs to be done in the future. Exactly. <laughs> it's 
something that stands out to me is, you know, an echo is repeating what's been said. Mm -hmm. Your voice can be something new and can add a new perspective. And so if you can be the voice, the first one to say something, the, if you can, you know, be that powerful influence, um, that would be, you know, an amazing thing. And in student services, we definitely support that. I want to be a voice. And mm -hmm. I think that has to sometimes override any sort of um, introversion yes. that I might have. <laughs>